Welcome everyone, this is Jeff Smith and I'm here to talk to you about how to easily view your Oracle database query output when working from the command line. And today I'll be using Oracle SQL CL, which is our modern command line interface. It's much like SQL Plus, but it's much smaller. It requires just a Java runtime engine. You unzip it and you run it. For the past 30 years or so, when using SQL queries at the command line, your output often looked like this. But with a single statement, I can get it to look like this. And that's what I want to show you today, alongside the ability to automatically format your query output to these formats as well. If you have existing scripts, um, you're using SQL Plus and you want to continue using the change or the column commands or even describe and ampersand and double ampersand, all of that still works in SQL CL. We've just tackled the everyday usability features as well. For example, if I want to get my query results in the format of a bunch of insert statements to make it easier to copy over into another system, that's a single command. Or CSV, or delimit, or I choose the delimiter. XML, of course. Here's an example of HTML, which I've spooled out to a file and opened in a browser. We have two offerings for JSON, either uh, raw or formatted. And we've added the ability to color code regular expressions and have SQL CL mark up your query results so it's easy to find the data that you're looking for. Let's do a quick demo. So here I am at the SQL prompt and I'm going to unset the automatic stuff and we'll just run a select. not super easy to read. So let's turn formatting on. And I'm going to say ANSI console. So what this does is for each page of query results, we measure not the width of the column as it's defined in the table, but we measure the width of the column as it's defined by the data per page. So if I have a very wide first name on page one, we'll resize that column up. And then if the next page, it's a very um, narrow, set of data, we'll, we'll set it down. So the, the idea is to fit it best as possible to the page. We have automatic SQL history built into the tool. So here is a query pulling from employees. And I have my page size set to 200. So here on a single page, nicely formatted output of this employees table. Now, I'd have to turn this on, so what I might do is add a login.sql script. And in this script, I would have the set SQL format. So when I log in, it's automatically applied. Let's do a quick look at some other formats. Let's say I want to get the data back in JSON. So there's that, not the prettiest thing. I could also say set SQL format JSON formatted. Run that, and now this is a bit easier to read. We support spool, so I could say spool. that file that we just created. Let's set SQL format to CSV. That's everyone's favorite. So there's those three rows in CSV. Now if you need a European CSV, um, you need a semicolon versus a comma, or let's say you've got other some weird format you want to deal with. Uh, in that case, I recommend the delimited format. So I can say set SQL format delimited and then we choose the delimiter. This could be any string that you want. 
and then whether or not you want the strings uh, double quoted or single quoted and you choose an opening and closing um, quote and there's those three records uxml html and we'll end on insert i think There is one more I want to show. Uh, let's look at the help first for help SQL format. So here you have examples of how to set these and what they all mean. The fun one that's slightly newer is this. SQL for format ANSI console, and then you give it a JSON document describing the expressions you want to search for. So fields that start with or contain or have exact matches or a literal regular expression. Um, and what this is going to do is if I don't know what the columns are. I don't know what the data looks like, but I'm always looking, for example, email addresses or maybe higher dates inside of a result set. And maybe that needs to be um, protected or encrypted. Uh, I can set this format and then just start browsing data and it's going to get decorated by the client, in this case, SQL CL on the way out. So it's ANSI console again, and then you give it a config, and I've called mine highlight.json. And I'm going to say now all the rows. So here's a string that's highlighted. Here's the first letter of some text that's been highlighted. Here's a substring that's been captured. So if I look at that very quickly, I can see what I've told it to look for. So it contains MIT. Here's my name. It's highlighting that string for me. So that's that SQL format. I recommend you find the one that you like to start with, add that to your login. And if you don't know about the login, you can say show login and we'll tell you where we're looking for those files. And that just gets executed at connect time. If you have more questions uh, about SQL CL, you can go to the product page and we have a 10 minute introduction introductory video there. And you can also follow SQL CL on Twitter at that, sorry, <laughs> at Oracle SQL CL. Thanks everyone. Have a good day.